Greetings and welcome to our message, dear readers. The evolutionary process is causing many to re-examine the choices and decisions they made in the past. The process is leaving many feeling regret and shame as they recognize some of these past choices as having been unwise, hurtful, and ego-based. Whenever past actions are examined from a new and higher state of consciousness they will be seen with new eyes and in ways different from how they were previously seen. This experience is a facet of the evolutionary process dear ones, a process everyone goes through as they evolve from one state of consciousness to a more enlightened one. Do not embrace or claim the shame or self-loathing that may arise when looking back on your life things said, actions taken, self-righteousness, or anything from the past now causing you to feel ashamed or unworthy. An individual can only live out from their highest attained state of consciousness and past actions simply reflect a previous state of consciousness. This is not to say that apologies are never needed and appropriate but try not to dwell on or even attempt to return to a previous state of consciousness that is now finished. You have played hundred roles over hundreds of lifetimes in your evolutionary journey toward conscious oneness with Source. You've been male, female, gay, straight, warriors, farmers, slaves, kings, queens, rich and poor, sick and well, stupid and smart and have done it in bodies of every skin color while expressing the state of your consciousness at that time. Do not spend time seeking to know about and examine past lives for this can easily become an unnecessary and ego-based distraction. If a past life is important to your present life and evolutionary process, you will somehow become aware of it through dreams, memories, a spiritual channel picking it up or simply by the presence of qualities, gifts, talents, and knowledge that you did not consciously learn in this life which is the truth underlying child prodigies. We would like to talk about healing because many of you are presently experiencing physical, emotional, and mental issues that seem to come from nowhere. Pockets of clearing energy are frequently re-experienced in some form and often take the path of least resistance which will be an area of the body still remembering past damage or disease. For example, a person who died of tuberculosis in several lifetimes may clear old energy primarily through their lungs in the form of frequent infections or medical issues. Because divine consciousness is all that exists. It can only express itself and nothing other than itself where where could something outside of omnipresence come from? If disease, pain, and suffering were embodied in divine consciousness they would be permanent, held in place forever by divine law never to be changed, healed, or removed. Disease on all levels is a material manifestation of the collective belief in separation, from God, others, and one's good duality, sick or well. And two powers, that germs, environment, food, age, inheritance, circumstances etc. hold power over every person. The belief that anything can separate you from your real self. Self is false, but alive, well, and manifesting in. And through the third dimensional belief system as appearances easily testify to. As you grow in spiritual awareness you begin to understand that divine consciousness is infinitely complete and whole in and of itself and therefore the false dreams that so many dream are not a part of it. People often say, how could God allow this or that to happen? The answer is that God is not in the dream nor is the dream in God. Begging or pleading some concept of God to change something that God has no awareness of is useless, representative of separation, and actually reinforces the energy of the belief. Yes, miracles do occasionally occur but this has more to do with the person's spiritual contract rather than human petition. 
do what you are intuitively guided to do health-wise for yourself and those you are caring for but do it in the realization that disease is a three-dimensional manifestation that God knows nothing about because divine consciousness is, can, and only ever has expressed its own omnipresent, omnipotent, omniscient nature as harmony, love, completeness, wholeness, abundance, intelligence, etc. We are not making light of those suffering from physical, emotional, or mental disease. Guides and high resonating beings on the other side are always present bringing support and comfort to those suffering on earth and especially when a person is close to death. Permanent healing can only happen when disease is no longer held as reality in one state of consciousness because consciousness is always manifesting itself. Even though spiritually aware of the non-reality of disease will have some health-related issues while living on earth. Because very few have attained the full consciousness of the non-reality of disease and also because you are living. Where separation belief constitutes the collective consciousness, you will probably experience some but much less than the majority of these appearances. When or if you experience physical, emotional, mental, or even spiritual difficulty, first know the truth and then do what you are guided to do. Help is available for and on all levels of awareness but allow yourself to be intuitively guided because what may have been a right action last year may not be right for today. Never endow health issues with power even if they are driving you crazy because the only power they really have is the power you endow them with. Many of the issues plaguing people at this time are clearings that will cease at some point. It is important to remember that physical death is a soul choice, one not made consciously but rather made on a deeper unconscious level. When a soul chooses to go home, they will often choose a disease or situation that will allow them to do so. Common belief is that everything and anything must be done in order to keep a person on earth but if they have made the choice to leave they will, even when consciously unaware of their choice. Stillbirths or child deaths are frequently pre-planned experiences deemed necessary for the evolutionary growth of the parents and those involved. Jesus's consciousness held no beliefs of disease or separation and so when people came to him and entered into his consciousness where beliefs of disease, sin, and suffering did not exist, the appearances dissolved, having no energy to sustain them. Never forget that you are this same divine consciousness with free will to choose what you put into it. Take those you wish to help into mediation not to fix them but to acknowledge their divinity while realizing that your conscious oneness with Source automatically constitutes their oneness with Source because there is only one. Observe and honor the light of every person in spite of whatever dark or heavy debris they may have chosen to stand in at this time. This is the work. This is why you are on Earth, not to fix, change, or heal but to know that nothing needs fixing because God is all that is. We are the Arcturian group.